In this tutorial, we will see how mesh modeling can be used to create a preform object. So we will switch to mesh modeling. Then before that we will switch to our view to southeast isometric. Then UCS icon, no region. Then we will go to mesh modeling. Then we will create here a mesh pyramid so you just give a center point of base then give the size base radius suppose I want 6 then give the height how much is the height you want so it will create a height of suppose 10 so it has created a pyramid so you can see this pyramid in conceptual visual style so it is looking like this so for doing the mesh modeling I can select any uh, sub object and uh, give different commands which are specific to mesh modeling so you can select different sub object by pressing control just hold down the control and select the suppose I want to select this face just click on that holding the control as it is so I will click uh, select all these surfaces so I don't want that line we'll just escape and again control and I will select this surface this surface then this so I am doing this by holding down the control key and clicking once it is highlighted so again so I will just orbit it by holding down the shift and rotating the mouse again I will hold down the shift and rotate uh, press the roller and drag the mouse so all these faces are selected then I will say extrude faces and I will give extrusion height of 5 so these faces are extruded on different sides so in this way this is created so you can see how it will look after smoothening so for that you can do using this smooth more and just click on the object and press enter so it will show you after smoothening how it will look so just say smooth more and select the object and enter so in this way this object is created so we can cancel the smooth smoothness by saying smoothless select the object press enter so step by step again smoothless select the object press enter so in this way we have came back to our original position suppose I want to apply again hold down the control key I want to apply I will select these surfaces again this face this face and this face again I will apply extrude faces then I will again give a five of extrusion of five. So these spaces are extruded again. So same way, suppose I want to make, uh, I want to pull this point above the internal point. So for that, I can set here the filter what is to be selected. So you can set it to vertex, edge, or face. So those specific point, uh, specific object only will be selected. So I want vertex to be selected so I will take my cursor on the vertex and uh, hold down the control key and I will click on the point so this vertex is selected and move zig zigmo is added so I can move this by going to Z just click on it and just pull it up so in this way you can pull it up uh, to the desired height so in this way it has been pulled up escape so it has been extruded okay now you can again see the effect of smoothening what happens after smoothening smooth more select the object enter so this has been created like this again say smooth more select the object enter so in this way this object is created so suppose uh, if I I don't want something to be affected by smoothening so 
I will just uh, bring it back to original position by smoothness. Okay. Suppose I don't want this internal pyramid to be affected by smoothness. So you can do that by saying add sys and just uh, hold down the then just change the sub object selection filter to faces or suppose I will say to no filter I will hold down the control and I will select all these faces which I don't want to be affected by smooth smoothening so I will select all those surfaces faces by holding down the control key so it will maintain its shape as it is during smoothening it will not change so that will be the that is the use of add seize so it will be seized at that position uh, in that position so I will just select all the surfaces ok so all surfaces has been selected this press enter then it is asking me seize value so as more and more value you give that much sharpness it will maintain suppose I give a seize value of 2 and if now I try the smooth smooth more select the object enter so that object is less affected so that way we can see that the corner is maintained as it is we can again smooth more we will select the object enter so it is maintaining its corner as it is so that way you can see some desired edges if you want that it should not be uh, disturbed by smoothness so that those edges you can just say to to you can add seize to those edges or you can also remove the seize if you want to cancel the seize just say remove seize and just con uh, control the face uh, control uh, hold down the control and remove the seize for the selected faces just remove the seize from all the faces again shift and ruler press ruler and drag the mouse so it will so I don't want sys to be applied so I will again select from this side too so in this way I will select all the faces and when faces are selected I will say enter so you will see that those has been smoothened because seize has been removed there so it has been smoothened so in this way you can use the tool mesh modeling tools in AutoCAD so thanks for joining we will stop here